Hi guys, sorry if you can hear my air conditioner, but of course it's summer and I keep it on, especially since Sawyer and I do share a room. If it was just me, I wouldn't, but since I do have him, it is on most of the time. So, you are looking at my new 2015-2016 Ready to Ship Erin Condren Planner. Um, I have the 18 month, and this is just the Ready to Ship Planner cover, and it says, so, and so the adventure begins. Um, and I'm basically doing this video to talk about the adventure that I went through to get this planner. Um, don't get me wrong, I love the Erin Condren products. I love, 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 love them. However, I do not love the customer service. I do not love the runaround that you get when you're dealing with customer service and um, the company in general. Um, and so I figured um, I would educate people on how my experience was this launch um, before you make a decision to buy. Just know, disclaimer, that you are putting yourself at risk of having to um, deal with the runaround if you do order from them around launch time. I know a lot of people will say, well, why didn't you just wait until after the craziness had gone down? Well, because the planner starts in July and I wanted to start it in July and start fresh. My last planner, I kind of experimented with how I like to plan. I skipped a bunch of months and so this time I wanted to make sure that I used my planner to the fullest. Um, so I ordered on launch day which was June 9th of 2015. I ordered two ready to ship planners, one for me and one for my mom. We got the launch bundle for her, the meal planner insert for myself, and then we also got two sets of customizable stickers for each of us. Um, I got a shipping notice three days later I want to say and within a week I had gotten the box. I opened the box to find that the stickers were there, the meal planner was there, the launch bundle was there, and there was only one planner. And that planner that we did get was wonky. The coil was messed up so it, you couldn't, the planner wouldn't lay flat basically and if you're in any of the planner groups you would know what I'm talking about. But basically right here where the coil is, if you open it you can see that the planner lays flat. When I got the messed up planner it was not laying flat like this. The top was but the bottom was not. So I messaged customer service, let them know what was going on and I got a wonderful customer service representative and if you guys ever have to deal with them hope that you get girl in action. I got her and she was amazing. So she told the production team that I needed um, the guts of a new planner because these covers are interchangeable so I could just rip off the planner from one, put it on the guts, and then another planner for the one that was not put in the box. And then she also said that she upgraded my shipping to overnight shipping so I would get it the next day from when they shipped it. Okay, fine. So I'm waiting, 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 looking at my status on the website of my order, and it's in production for days and days and days. So I finally messaged or emailed them back, um, telling them that I was really disappointed in the customer service, the wait time, especially since it wasn't even my fault that the order was not right, and I expected it to be shipped out ASAP. No response. So I go to their Facebook page, write a review for the company, and no response. So I email customer service again. And this time I was not very nice and I explained that I wanted my planner as soon as possible and that I would not be ordering from the company again. So the day after I had sent that last email I had gotten a shipping notice and lo and behold someone from their Facebook page had answered my um, review or post and said that they noticed that it was shipped. Well obviously you shipped it before you even replied to my message. So. I, like I said, I love the product. Um, I don't like how the company is run. So I'm kind of at a, a crossroads of do I continue supporting a company that I don't like, but I like their product, or do I move on and try to find something I like just as much? So I won't have to worry about that until um, December of 2016 because this is an 18 month planner and I plan on using the whole thing. But, um, it was just a long uh, a long process. I ended up getting my planner July 1st, June 30th or July 1st. I can't remember which one. Um, so yeah, it turned out perfect. 
um, the second one. I also got a cover. I got the butterfly cover that says without change there would be no butterflies. Love that cover. I plan on getting a, a few more maybe. I don't know. But I wanted to walk through and show you guys what I've done so far with my planner. Um, I plan on doing maybe planner updates once a month. Um, maybe on Wednesdays because Wednesdays are going to be my weight loss updates. The last Wednesday of every month is going to be my weight loss um, update video. Um, so between there I can put in a planner update video. So when you open it you obviously get the rainbow inside cover which I really like. Um, this ruler is not the one that came with it. I think the guts didn't come with a ruler so I didn't get the party pops ruler but I don't really use it in my planner anyway so it doesn't bother me. You have the vellum um, page and then the title page and you all have seen um, all of this. I just wanted to get to the calendar of 2015-2016 and as you can see there's some red dots over here. I have to fill some more in because I haven't updated it. But this is how I track my periods especially after having Sawyer. Um, I like to track how they are and I'm glad that I do because my first postpartum period has now been going on for almost two weeks. So I have to get a hold of my doctor and talk to him about that. But I find this is a good way, especially if you're younger or you kind of have a lot going on, just to mark them with, with red dots so you know how long they are or how far apart they are. That way, if you have any concerns, you can talk to your doctor about it. Um, so that's one thing that I did. And then also with the new planners, they have the notes page right in front of the, um, the little tab for the month. So right here I have my July dashboard and I plan on doing all of my um, note pages before the month like this and I'm going to put the birthdays of the month so I can send out some cards, um, goals for the month, um, books that I read for the month because I want to get back into reading and then anything else important that I need to remember to do. So I really like this layout. I saw it in the horizontal group on Facebook for the horizontal Erin Condren planner and I will put that link um, for that group down below. I really like how this looks. It gets to the point of what needs to be done throughout the month. So um, flipping forward, you guys can see my monthly view. Um, and I have my dashboard here with my name on it, which I will put the link to the Etsy shop that does that down below. But I also have um, what's going on throughout the week or the month. So I have the white Avery rep or repositionable um, square stickers and I write, I color code and I write on them what's going on and I stick them on the day that it's supposed to happen. And that way if it has to change, I can just peel it off and stick it somewhere new. So orange is Sawyer, red is YouTube, blue is exercise, pink is me, black is other, yellow is household or, well, household chores of sort, and green has to do with money. So this is like the one half of the month, and then the other half of the month looks like this. I decorated for the 4th of July. Very cute. And then I'm trying to figure out what I want to put here. Um, I probably should put, um, like a bill tracker or something, but, um, I'm trying to see what would be most not appropriate, but most logical for me to use. So if, as I go forward, I'll show you the first two weeks that I planned. Here's the week of June 29th to July 5th. Um, I'm kind of trying to get into the groove of how I want to plan, but this was the first week that I kind of got to experiment. Um, the, these stickers are from um, Planning Made Easy. She is actually a couple of... Um, towns over from me. I will leave her Etsy link down below. She has monthly boxes that she ships out to coordinate with the months. Um, so she had like a 4th of July kind of thing. So that's how I kind of decorated this week. Um, and I just have some Etsy stickers that I use as well. So I'm hoping to do um, some plan with me's once I kind of get into the groove of how I want to decorate. But for now, um, I figured I would just show you the first two weeks. So flipping to this week, I have um, a green and yellow theme going on. Um, and I try to split the boxes into threes. The first one being today, like what's going on today, my to-do list for the day, and then meals um, that I have planned. So I keep track of my calories for the day because um, I am trying to lose weight. And then I also keep track of what we're having for dinner because I do meal plan. I cook on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays are usually fun for yourself or um, leftover days. And then Saturday um, is kind of free and Sunday my mom cooks. So 
um, yeah and then I have my water tracker over here which I really enjoy and um, my daily to do's which I got some stickers for so I'll be using those next week so that's basically how I've been decorating for now um, and this is just next week all plain but um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about this planner because I know a lot of people did a walkthrough. I'm not really going to go walk through it since you can find that video elsewhere. But I wanted to talk about my experience and then show you guys how I have been decorating. Um, so hopefully I can get a plan with me up pretty soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe to Love New Friends. If you would like to order a life planner or one of Erin Condren's um, notebooks or their address book um, I will put my referral link down below and you can get ten dollars off of your first order so um, yeah I think that's about it I will see you guys in the next video bye